One of the advantages of the True Larve Galeria Melanella model is that you can precisely dose the larvae in a defined injection site, the basic injection technique, and that is what we will be demonstrating in this video. Controls will vary depending on the nature of your experiment, but for every experiment, injection controls and no injection controls must be set up as a minimum. Larvae have been taken from their ventilator container in the 15 degree incubator and dispensed into a series of petri dishes, often with an N of 10 larvae for each condition. For the no injection controls, simply place 10 larvae in a petri dish and incubate them with the other larvae after injection to ensure larval health. Larvae have a head end and a tail end and we inject into a proleg. To inject larvae, we can set up an injection station, which involves taping a filter paper disc to the bench and a P1000 tip onto the filter paper. A larvae can be gently held over the tip using fingers with the pro legs visible. It is important not to hold larvae too tightly as this can cause leakage. The needle is carefully inserted into a pro leg, angling the needle toward the head of the larvae and 10 microliters administered. The needle should easily go through the proleg and if there is any resistance then you may not have the needle in the proleg but may instead be injecting through the cuticle. This may cause bleeding of the larvae. Reduce pressure on the larvae before injecting and once injected move the larvae into the petri dish and place on their side or prolegs down to reduce leakage. Alternatively, larvae can be restrained using tweezers and injected into the proleg. Larvae are usually injected with a volume of 10 microliters and we recommend using a Hamilton micro syringe to inject the larvae. An adapter may be used to automate multiple injection volumes. Using a 250 microliter volume Hamilton micro syringe, a double click of the adapter will dispense 10 microliters. Using this adapter, we can inject 25 larvae with 10 microliter doses within minutes. Injection controls involve injecting each larvae with 10 microliters of PBS in the front right proleg. PBS should have no negative effect on the larvae. Therefore, if larvae die or are unhealthy after injection with PBS, we can conclude that this was due to poor injection technique rather than a biological effect. After use, ensure the needle has been thoroughly decontaminated and rinsed. Disposable needles are also available. Once injected, larvae can be incubated at 37 degrees. Another advantage of the Galeria melanella model system, as temperature regulated genes can be switched on at human body temperature. Multiple time points may be used to assess larvae, for example, four hours, 24 hours, 48 hours, and 72 hours post-injection. Larvae can be removed from the incubator and manually assessed for health, including live dead scoring, melanization and movement. When scoring larvae, melanization, movement and death can be used as endpoints. Death is defined by no movement. We assess this by rolling the larvae and checking for movement. To dispose of larvae, place in a minus 20 degree freezer overnight before autoclaving with other biological waste. So in this video we've demonstrated the basic True Larve Galeria Melanella injection technique which is central to most of the applications using this model host. In the subsequent videos we'll be showing how the injection technique can be used for a range of different applications. In our training, we do not cover assays that involve bleeding or homogenization of larvae. And we also don't cover the wire and bristle biofilm assays. If you're interested in those techniques, then please contact us for more information.